With much unexplained activity reported at this historic house in Brighton, we rejoin Compass Paranormal for a return visit to Preston Manor. Preston Manor was originally built around 1600, rebuilt in 1738, and substantially added to and altered in 1905. The exterior is largely 18th century and reveals little of the riches to be seen inside. The manor was bought by the prominent Stanford family in 1794 and was a family home for 134 years. Upon the deaths of Sir Charles and Lady Thomas Stansford in 1932, the house and contents were left to the Corporation of Brighton, which is now Brighton and Ho City Council. Complementing its historical heritage, Preston Manor also boasts many tales of ghostly sightings and unexplained experiences. There is allegedly the well-known apparition of Sister Agnes, a medieval nun who helped travellers on their way. A body buried under the patio, a disembodied hand floating by a four-poster bed, and a lady in grey who descends the grand staircase. The reports continue with modern-day sightings of non-existent visitors, doors locking themselves, lights turning off for no reason, and a ghostly hand holding onto a doorknob. Preston Manor is a familiar location for us, having investigated here on numerous occasions. And on this event, we are guests of Compass Paranormal, returning with them for a second investigation here. With our own Alan Barnett as a medium for the night, Compass's Richard Mott welcomes the guests. The first thing I'm going to say to you tonight is you are not here for a ghost train. Okay? We are not going to hide in corners, jump out on you, put white sheets on our head, <laughs> throw stones or make a farce of what we're trying to achieve. Okay? This is a paranormal investigation. And everything I do is about what I believe in. And, and that is honesty. So if we're walking around tonight and I'm not actually getting anything, I'll just say, no, I'm not getting anything. If Richard asks me, I'll say, no, sorry, not at the moment, I'm getting nothing. But if I get something, I'm happy to share that straight away. Or if there's a few of you want to be able to pick up yourselves, then I won't spoil it for you. I'll let you tell me what you think you're picking up as we go around, and then I'll confirm or whatever I'm getting, okay? So I hope everyone's comfortable with that. But it, with me, it is honesty. I'm not gonna make things up. So have a great night and let's hope we all will see something or get something for a change. <laughs> but like Richard said, it doesn't happen that often. So. We're here for you to have a good time. Right? We're here just to look after the building and to verify any facts that you pick up because we all know the history of the building. Here we are at Preston Manor in Brighton. Uh, we've been here quite a few times before. We're here as guests of Compass Paranormal Events. So we're here with the Spiral team as well. So we'll be helping out with a lot of the, uh, the guests tonight and seeing if they hope they have a, a positive experience. So I hope you can join us for vigils tonight and see what happens. Uh, this is a fantastic location. That's one reason I love coming back here. I think one of the best locations in the country. So uh, hopefully you'll join us and see what happens. Joining the guests, along with Preston Manor guide, Penny Bulgin, we undertake a walk around the house with Alan Barnett to see what information he may pick up on. There was like a maid coming through, more of a scullery maid. Came in from the door, right over the back. Came in and out again, just out of interest. Straight away there's something moving about, so might be a good sign for the maid. We just came upstairs from, from the basement. As soon as we turned the corner and we were in the, like, the red hallway, just by the display cabinet, there was somebody there who was like greeting us. And it, as soon as I just got to the top of the stairs, I could just see them straight away, just greeting us, welcoming us into the, uh, into the Preston Manor. We moved down the hallway and into the main dining and drawing rooms. Not active at the moment, nothing active. But there's an essence there in the room. But 
perhaps you'll come in later when we're doing some videos. I mean, we, we do do seances in here, you know, as you can mm. see, mainly because it's the one room that you can all fit in, basically. But we've had fantastic things to kick off because, as I say, they do tend to come when, when we're all sat and going. I think last time we were here, right at the end, we did a group seance in here. But I get a very, very strong sense of uh, a female and children. So, once again, but at this time, not anything active. The spirits, as I said in the house, do wander, wander around. So, things do happen in here when one of us walks in. And I've been locked in this room. Um, people get touched. We've got, well, I won't, I won't say, I don't want to give too much away, but you, know, you get touched in here. But the use of this room, someone asked me about, about this. this no, we are now in the really old part of the house, and this was a withdrawing room. So it's the room that your ladies would come into after they just had their meal in the dining room. This is sort of um, more of that edge audio that is mm -hmm. the term. And that's what I get with this, with the woman and children, yeah, that sort of period. Mm -hmm. Like I say, it's just a very strong residual thing at the moment. Nothing active. Not a moment. Hi. How are you finding it? Brilliant. It's lovely, it's beautiful. How do you find it so far? How do you find Brenton Manor? Uh, from what I've seen, it's very nice. I kept getting the name Edward, and, that was, and I, I don't quite understand why. You know, that's like remote, something remote. And often enough, you get things remote and, and actually it fits in when you get somewhere. So I'm, I'm uncertain about that at the moment, but I don't know what this room is used for, but I actually get an impression of some time of, of like people um, playing billiards or something like that at one time, you know? Uh, they did in, there was a billiard room which was the one we didn't walk through, yeah. but that's not to say that um, it wasn't in here at some time as well, but there yeah. was a billiard room here, yeah, and it was just in the room that we've just, although it looks like a hallway, that was a billiard room. Yeah, because I get a very strong impression yeah, that it's like yeah. um, it We move into the adjacent room with Alan feeling the urge to call out. Can you please make a sound or touch somebody? Show us you're here. Come on, join in with us for the night. Come on, we can play with these children. There's a whistle. Yeah. Somebody just whistles. Oh, yeah. I, no, I think it might have actually been my oh. mic next to the headphones. No, no, it sounded, it sounded like a deeper whistle. Yeah, yeah, I it, was it, again. it was like it a... <laughs> Yeah, no, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. Uh, are you sure? It is. It is. It is. This is I feel very strong. I can feel it very strong. It's got stronger again. It's as if something's come back in closer. Like I say, it was definitely children anyway. It was children. Um, they like the singing then. For me, feeling something, there was something very close. Then it's pulled away a bit, and it's coming backwards and forwards. Um, it's still in this room. Yeah, we heard the whistle. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. Was that loud? It was just a one time. Yeah, one time. It wasn't hearing the ghost. No. Heading upstairs, the team explore the second floor bedrooms. I'm actually getting drawn to the left. Head that way. John, all going there? Yeah. We'll be a bit squashed, but we can all go in there. They sat down the furniture company in another room, but don't feel it's this room. This was his room. <coughs> this was his room as well? Or? Well, no, I feel that this was the oh, one. Oh, the furniture? That he, this, well, not, yeah, I don't know if, you know about where the furniture was originally, mm -hmm. but it's this room that I get him. Okay. Not nothing to do with the furniture. Okay. It's this room, which is very strong with really, that, that feeling of it here, that essence of it. You know? That privacy thing, mm -hmm. it's, it's like everyone else is barred from mm -hmm. entering. Like I say, except for perhaps a close one, butler or valet mm -hmm. that would fetch mm -hmm. and bring stuff mm -hmm. up and down for him when he was working. But no one else was allowed in there. Not women, children, anyone. Tonight we're investigating at Preston Manor in Brighton. And so far, it's quite calm, but who knows when the lights go out.
Breaking into smaller teams, we begin the night's vigils. Now this is where I picked up the uh, sort of master in his little sanctuary where he wouldn't have anyone else in this room. So if you're around us, can you please come in? We're in your room, this is your private room, you didn't like anyone in here. So can you please come in close to us? So tap, touch somebody, do something, please. If you do something, we'll leave. That was two taps. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'll try that again. Just see. Let's see if that will happen again. Okay, guys, just stand still a second. Right. If that was you, thank you so much for doing that for us. Could we just confirm it was definitely you? Could you copy this noise, please? Don't mind getting possessed. Okay, the team one go on it with you, then we can't be accused of moving it, alright? So if you guys around the outside, if you wanna if we get there, you wanna sort of join hands if you can. Right, can any spirits around us, can you come in close, use all the energy we're forming here with this circle, and move the glass on that board. Make contact with us, communicate with us. Can you please let us know you're here? Very really bad rendition of the Stoll Council, was it? The yeah, Stoll Council not putting it off, is it? Right, what have we gone to? Mind no. here. Okay, right, we, we might have to go on the premise that if we've got a spirit in here, mm. it quite lazy. might not be able to read or write. Mm. Go to the sun. Are you on your own in this room? Can you move to the sun if you're on your own? If there's others with you, could you move to the picture of the moon, please? Yeah, but not if it's a very small child. Are you happy we are? Are you happy we're all here for you? If you are, move to the sun. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've moved out of the um, room up the top. Now we'll come down into like the servants' quarters with the spiral team. Let's so see what we can do here. Little video. Alan's still working as medium uh, with the other group, uh, so it's going to be little. We're joined by Emma from Preston Manor, and uh, let's bring the spirits on. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have a light bulb now. <laughs> That's not a spirit. Well, it's not Maybe the power source yeah. coming from it. It's definitely, it was definitely yeah. because I it's saw it. It's flashing out. I didn't say because I thought it was um, Annalisa with the camera, you see, because the camera light like, was just sort of beam, like, yeah. um, flickering on it, so I thought, oh, I won't say anything, and then when you said it, when the lights went dark. Could it not be these two windows here? No. You've got light no, coming through? It's, 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 it's definitely flashing. the bulb is flashing. The bulb flashing. Okay. By the way, the light bulb flashes every eight seconds. Yeah, so work that way out. <laughs> <laughs> you can like to communicate with us, we mean you no harm, we mean you no disrespect. Oh, right. So she's one of the children who used to work, who used to live here. I, don't know. I thought it was a mean no, thing for her. No, The guests continued vigils into the early hours, conducting various experiments hoping to enhance any possible connection with what may reside here. Preston Manor is a stunning location and does hold a certain atmosphere and with a sense of something always watching you from the shadows. <laughs> <laughs>